So we're back today talking about tin can again. And again, this is a video about the rescue mode and we have a little bit of extra information here. And some of this is really exciting. In fact, there's something that I spoke about in a video quite some months back where I spoke about some things that I would really like to see added in the rescue mode. And it seems that one of those things at least is actually gonna be in the rescue mode and it's really exciting. And I'll get to that in a second. But basically what they're saying here is that this game mode is going to be quite different from what we've experienced so far in terms of the normal and hardcore modes. Uh, they're saying that there's going to be a dozen scenarios. Each is going to be longer and harder than the last in order to be finally rescued by another ship. Now that sentence isn't 100% clear to me if that means that you have to play through all of the dozen scenarios before you get rescued or if you get rescued at each of, the, uh, of, of those scenarios. That's not clear. It would make more sense to me if it was the latter, if you get rescued in each scenario and then each time you have to do a more difficult scenario. Otherwise, that implies that you're sort of playing through scenarios where, I don't know, you maybe dock your uh, tin can somewhere or there's something that happens in between. Um, that's not quite clear to me. To me, it does seem a little bit more likely that you're getting rescued in each of those cases. Um, and uh, as you can see, uh, you'll be starting in the original ship right before the evacuation. So there's a picture of it here. Now, um, they do say that there's going to be a limited amount of time that you will have before you can, or basically that you have to do some assessment, gather some materials um, before it's going to explode. And you need to bring as many components and tools as you'll need to survive uh, and eject yourself. So that sounds really cool as well. But as they said, you, you don't know in what state your pod would be before you do the ejection. So you're sort of gonna have to deal with that. That's also really exciting. They're talking about components that might be missing, other components that could be damaged. Um, so it's kind of a case of you have to check out the pod, you have to sort of do an assessment and then you have to go out and grab what you need. And that's going to be under some, some time pressure. Um, but then it brings me on to the really exciting part of this, if I'm scrolling down here a bit. So basically, uh, there's going to be a beacon that you use in order for the rescue ship to find you. And anytime it stops working, the timer stops as well. So you're gonna have to maintain this beacon as well. And while the beacon is active, that's gonna allow the rescue ship to move closer to you. And I mentioned something like this in a, in a video a couple of months back, and, and this is a really cool idea. I love that they've implemented it in this way. It means that there's another system that you have to think about, one that is directly related to your rescue. And um, then they go on to mention that there's also going to be new unlocks in terms of events and components as you're going through all of these different scenarios. And eventually, once you've played through all of these scenarios, you're going to open a new tab with a scenario editor, which will allow you to create your own custom scenarios um, from starting point conditions to events and ship content. That sounds really cool as well. So. I was really excited about this update before. I'm even more excited now. Definitely when this releases, I will be doing most likely Let's Play videos of all of these scenarios as I'm sort of playing my way through those um, survival scenarios. So yeah, quick one today, uh, but really exciting stuff. Would love to know in the comments below what you guys think of this as well. And as always, if you like this kind of content, if you'd like to see me playing through these scenarios when it gets released in the uh, rescue update, which I'll probably start playing as soon as it hits the, uh, the beta. Please do like and subscribe and I'll see you for the next video.